I do. I do. This is something that um, I spoke of while I was at some place in New Orleans recently. Tape up. So if you were there, you're going to hear the same thing again. When I mix, I literally, because you have to you have to keep perspective, and perspective is very easy to lose, especially because you're in a studio, it's loud, it's exciting, everything sounds great in the control room, and then it can sound horrifying when you get it out to the car. You're, you're, you're vibing, you're, you're having a great time, but perspective is a whole other thing than vibe and excitement. Perspective is truly, have I got a blend that will translate onto any stereo anywhere? So you, you turn it up very loud when you're working your tones. Um, you're listening for distortion. You need to turn it up. Um, and, it, and it's exciting and it starts to fill you with the sound so that I crank it until it's loud and it's like very loud and uncomfortable for other people and they leave and I'm happy. <laughs> and, then and then I turn it down very low, and then, then you start to think everything sounds small. This sucks. This is I got to turn it back up, but you mustn't because you won't place the vocal right if you do that. So then you have to imagine on the meter bridge that the band, that is still extremely loud, but the band is tiny, and the kick drum is like that big, and the singer is like that big. See, I picture on the meter bridge a little tiny, tiny band. <laughs> and then it's very quiet, but you can think, and they're so loud, but they're so tiny. <laughs> and it's true. So when you're in there mixing, just shrink the band down to where you've got the little tiny singer and a little, just think of the kick drum as this little tiny thing. So like, but is the kick drum still loud and loud enough in relation to the tiny Map voice that's coming out of the new tiny singer. <laughs> then you turn up to Barbie size, and to where you can picture like the singer's about that big, and he or she is the focus. Whether you're guitar players, whether you think, no, it's all about the thingy. Um, it isn't. It's about the voice. It's about a relationship that exists between the voice, the bass guitar, the kick drum, and the snare drum. Period. Every single time. I don't care what other things are going on, even if it's just a person with their piano, it's still about the kick drum, the snare drum, the bass guitar, and the vocal, and the piano. Um, okay, not true. If it's just a piano and a vocal, you can figure something else out. But there's still, in rock and roll, which most of you, hip hop, once again, listen to a hip hop song, a rock song, a pop song, kick drum, bass guitar, snare, and vocal are the kind of trunk of the tree and everything else are the limbs, and I don't mean to sound mystic or anything, but it is true. Until you get that relationship <coughs> correct, you can't really bring the guitars up on the sides um, and turn down and picture the band as a little tiny band, and you'll start to really understand the nature of a blend. 